Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sailor Squad? Today, we're just going to be playing some zombies. Because um, I woke up really early today to get my recordings done because I have a busy day ahead of me. And um, unfortunately, Smite is down. So, <laughs> so instead, we're going to be recording some zombies. I haven't even showered yet. I was ready to, I was ready to go, man. And then... Excuse me, and then I opened it up, and it was, uh, it wasn't ready for me. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get the right, uh, the right attachments on my Hauer. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. Oh, uh, let me see, can I X? Gunsmith. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um. I think these are the mods you want, actually. I'm good to go. You know what? Let's add a camo on it. Let's add a camo on this thing. Oh, you can't. Okay. Let's get moving, people. Recon the site. Eliminate all. Let me see. Um, can I? I want to make sure that my FPS is good. But I don't know how to look. It should be good. Um, because I have my I have my FPS value on screen for me. All hostiles. By the way, the reason I'm the reason I'm saying this is because I, I have a new um, I have a new OBS. I have a new OBS. I like I literally identically, identically. Why did I say it like that? I I identically copied all of my settings. Although this game is a little bit loud. It's ground zero. Whatever happened here is the cause of the dimensional breaches all over the world. It's all right. The undead. It says my FPS is 60, and I have the FPS counter in the top left, which is at 120, because I capped it at 120. This, this game is very loud, though. I'm thinking maybe I turn it down just a little bit. Turn it down just a little bit. Settings, audio, master volume. That's way better. Ah, uh, that's a new guy. I don't want that. So, ideally, I would like to... Um... Get to round 20 without getting hit. That's, like, the optimal strat. Hold on, actually. Let me get my Ring of Fire aura. I'm gonna stay in spawn until level 7 or 8 and then I'll go to the the wing of the plane by the way I'm I'm aiming strictly for headshots right now because I'm going for the purple diamond camo or the pink diamond camo whatever it is it, I, it's more purple to me but I also am potentially colorblind Oh god. And I already have the the spaz shotgun finished. And the only thing I need left is shotgun or headshot kills with this shotgun. So I'm hoping maybe I can be able to finish that with you guys today. I don't know. My FPS says it's ex it's at 60 in the recording. But I look over at my 
on my capture monitor and it doesn't look like it's at 60. It looks like it's at like 50, maybe 40. I don't know. Ooh, double points. I do need a lot of points. Go ahead and hit that reload. Oh gosh. Dude, I've missed four headshots so far. That's actually really annoying. Five. I missed five headshots. Okay, so um, I have my Ring of Fire all the way leveled up, by the way, which just means that it can block projectiles. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do the impossible. And I might even try to stay in spawn room for the whole game. Um, because doing, I really need this Dark Ops challenge done. I have every other Dark Ops challenge done, but except for this one and the box one, which is basically for those people who don't play this game. Um, you should, by the way, if you like zombies, I used to be a zombies world record holder in, uh, in the map Kino, but Then I found Smite. <laughs> but it's obvious that I like zombies. I like playing the... The, the Zambonis game. Please get headshots. There we go. 56. I need about... 800 headshots, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 1,800 headshots. To finish off the purple camo on my shotguns. All right, going on to level six. I could buy a monkey bomb, should I so desire. I still don't know if I'm gonna play this out and maybe do the box, the box run or not a box run, to be completely honest. Oh, well, I just got hit because I didn't see him. So maybe I'll go for the, the box. Maybe I'll go for the box challenge then. It's not hard. Just need a lot of points to do it. I'm glad that I didn't spend my... Uh, glad I didn't spend my... My low grade scrap, which is... You know, the greens... Here, I'll show you. That right there on the ground... Is it called low grade scrap? And basically, instead of rolling the box to get monkey bombs, you go up to this crafting table and you can craft anything you need, right? Like monkey bombs, um, grenades, tomahawks, explosives. And then there's, you can actually get kill streaks in zombies now, but not from actually killing zombies. You get them from high grade scrap, which they drop, and you can get these kill streaks, right? Like I have a self revive kit right now because I'm in solo. I'm playing solo. And um yeah. And you can rebuy that whenever you go down. So instead of having quick revive that you buy for 500 points that revives you when you go down, you have a a kill streak that you can get with 250 high grade scrap, which actually does take a while to get. I'd, I'd say you probably don't get 250 high grade scrap until maybe from 14, 13 or 14. But I will be going over mechanics as I'm playing. Because I realize a lot of people don't play zombies, you know? I, I mean, obviously a lot of people do, right? It's it's the most played function in this Call of Duty. One more headshot. No. I wanted one more headshot during double points. Um, I think I'll save this zombie. 
And I'll go open up some more of the map. So this is the uh, Kino der Toten. Not Kino der Toten, I'm sorry. This is Nak der Toten. Nak der Antoten, I think is actually the name of it. The first map ever. The first map ever in Zombies. Gotta get my loose change, you feel me? Um, I'm not going to be grabbing that because I'll show you something. The re I could buy Juggernaut right now. You don't need the power on to buy some perks. But I will show you. And this game is not even close to as complicated as the other ones. You know how like in order to turn on the power or like get Pack-a-Punch it would take 45 minutes of running through doing mini quests, you know? This one is not even like that at all. You just hit the button. Excuse me. You turn that one on. And then you turn uh, this one on. And power is on. Congratulations. I'm going to buy some armor. And yes, you do have armor in the bottom left. You see it there. The little notches above my HP. That is armor. Um, and then let's turn on pack a punch here. Oop. Go into the dark ether. Boom. Okay. So this is dark ether. You can break these little crystals here, get ammo, get points. And in later rounds, you can even get the ray gun out of them. And the ray gun, by the way, the ray gun is easily the best gun in the game, period, hands down. It's it's incredibly strong. So basically, in order to, um, to get Pack-A-Punch, all you do is you run to where it says to run. You pick up the part, and you go and you place the part. And you might be thinking, okay, so you got to do that, what, three, four times, right, to turn on the power? Um, no, you just do it this once, and then you, you go, um, boop. Pack a punch. So turning on the power, turning on the power and getting pack a punch open took all of about a second, you know, like three minutes. And then, this is a little easter egg, right? You can go around, and there's these blue orbs everywhere. There's five of them. This gun doesn't reach there. Um, shit. Is there a gun on the wall in here I can buy? There is. I'll buy it. I can't buy it! Damn it. Why can't I reach this? I gotta shoot this blue orb, but my shotgun sucks. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, these are the dogs for the game. The dogs are basically, the best way I can describe them is a mix between dogs in, um, dogs in Black Ops 3 and Nova Crawlers. And I believe Black Ops 2, it might be Black Ops 3 as well. They're just a mix of them. And they're so great. I love them. They're amazing. Um, well, I can't get that one until I get a better gun. But then this is the fourth one over here. So this is there's one right here. There's one right here in this barrier. You gotta crouch and shoot up at it. Um that makes two. Oh, there's the boss. Hi boss. But fortunately, this um ring of fire upgrade I have makes me do insane amounts of damage. And it, not only do I do insane amounts of damage, I also don't have to reload. So yeah, that's what the Ring of Fire ability does. Um, 
Every class gets an X ability, and the X ability is obviously, it's like I have Ring of Fire on. There's an ability called Aether Shroud, which just makes you invisible for five or six seconds. Um, or I think five seconds by default, and then once you upgrade it, it gets up to eight seconds. And then there's a healing aura. I can't afford that yet. Where's the same? Oh, there you are. There's a healing aura. Um, what are what are the other ones? Oh, there's an energy mine. You can place down a mine that will explode. Uh, is that it? I'm gonna buy this pistol, by the way. I'll take this side arm. By the way, this gun actually fucks this pistol. Like it's a non-upgraded it's a it's a non-upgraded wall by pistol that three shots on round ten. Assuming you hit the head. Which I don't, but you know, you never know. Hey, got it. Alright, we're gonna get teleported here in a second. You see that? That teleportation coming in. And congratulations, Easter egg. It's a, it's a zombie dance party, dude. They're doing the coffin dance. Look at all the guns. Look at all the guns in there. What oh, guns sticking out of there? Little M60. I could pack my gun here, huh? Look at all these zombies, dude. Doing the robot. Right, so you do that Easter egg, and then this little box shows up here. You open it, gets you Juggernaut for free, and a legendary quality gun. I just so happened to get a Magnum. Boom! Hold on, I missed. 1800 damage headshot. <laughs> Dude, that pistol does more damage than my upgraded shotgun. It is a Magnum, though, so it takes about approximately 16 years to reload. Alright, um... What do I do with my 6k points right now? That zombie's glitching out down there. You see him running into the wall? Okay. Um, I can upgrade my armor to max rank. Take out my shotgun that's red quality, which is the worst quality, by the way. And the quality of your gun actually does matter. The quality of your gun basically increases your damage like a pack a bunch would like it's incredible it's a huge damage increase so i like my headshot just did 1100 now it does 1700 you know and that's only with the tier one damage increase so if i can get this shotgun to legendary which by the way this shotgun is what i'm going to be using the whole time grab some change um because like i said i'm, I'm farming camo on it right now I don't really care if I get hit right now. I'm all about just grabbing the headshots. Just grabbing the headshots. That's all I'm doing right now. And I will actually... I'll do the speedrun strat. Oh, I'm getting hit from behind. Ooh, armor. So basically those armor drops on the ground you can pick up and it will replenish your armor. Um... I don't know why I just got two of them. There's another one on the ground over there. You see it? Uh, this one. They're not... They, they are rare. Like, it says rare on it. They are very rare to get. 
It's okay. Oh, uh, let's do the speedrun strat. Let's do speedrun strat. But first, let me buy Quick Revive. And you might be thinking, Sam, you just told us before that Quick Revive doesn't do anything when solo anymore. But it actually does. You see my HP? When I get hit, hit me. When I get hit, it will, um, it takes half of the time to recharge back to full. Oh, that's a boss. So, the strat, by the way, the high round strat, is to just... The high round strat is literally to just use your um, your ring of fire on this window right here. So you use your ring of fire, you press it right here, and it will instantly kill all the zombies who spawn here. And then all the other zombies have to run straight line at this, as long as you don't open this up, this door here. So this is the late game strat. I'll grab a couple frags, why not? Grab a few of them. The only time that this you could possibly go down during this strat is when you don't have your ring of fire up. Which obviously I do not right now. So I have my ring of fire up, I press it on the window. And then I can just spam my shotgun because, well, obviously I'm going for headshots, right? But um, because, like I said, when my ring of fire is down, it takes the ammo straight out of my uh, out of my reserves, so I, I don't have to reload. Makes it very very strong. And as you can see, this strat just flies through the levels. Like, I think I could probably get... If I get the ray gun, I could probably go really far. Recording... Okay. Alright, dog round and another super easy round. There's no dog spawns up here or behind you or anything. So all you got to do is this. And sometimes they jump up right here, but that's it. Where you at? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, dog round done. Um, I can almost upgrade my gun again, and that's another thing, by the way, is you might be like, oh, you pack-a-punched already, so what's what's there to do now? There's actually three levels of pack-a-punch. They There's so much to this game. <clears throat> there's three levels of pack-a-punch, rather than the normal one. Um, oh my, they spawned quick. And basically what it does is every single time you pack-a-punch... It literally doubles your ammo. So I just heard the boss spawn, by the way. The boss isn't very tough, unless you don't have Ring of Fire. <laughs> if you have Ring of Fire, the boss is a joke. If you don't have Ring of Fire, the boss is a tougher. A tougher tin. But I have Ring of Fire, so it's good. Collect all of these. And 200 headshots so far, not bad. Got an email. Alright. <coughs> so you might be wondering what that is down there, the radio. Basically... Every round after round 10, or every 5 rounds, I'm sorry, after round 10, you have the option to exfil, which, you know, 
before in Zombies, the only way your game ended was if you died. And um, now, the only way that your game ends... Well, I mean, it could still obviously be you dying, which would be not ideal, I'm sure. Um, but it would be you dying, or if you want, you can try to exfil um, on round 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, you get the picture. Every five rounds, starting on round 11. Let me pick all this up. Um, my gun is still doing an immense amount of damage. But I can go upgrade the quality, I think, to epic. Oh no, epic it takes... From green to blue, it takes 1,000 low-grade scrap, which I have 2350 of. And it takes 500 high-grade scrap, which I only have 290 of. I know you guys can't see that because of my base cam, but... That's what I'm telling you. I only have 290 of it. Also, the point system is completely different. Um, which I don't know how I feel about. I, honestly, it doesn't bother me. Like, I think it's fine. Um, the point system is completely different to the, the sense where you don't get you don't get points for getting hits. You only get points for getting kills, and you get ninety points for a normal kill, or one hundred and fifteen points for a knife kill or a critical shot kill so during max ammos during max ammos it really doesn't matter or not max ammos i'm sorry during insta kills it really doesn't matter if you're actually shooting or not this perk machine spawns up here and i can finish off my perks um it has every perk in the game right now by the way i think this spawns on level 15 but i don't know um, so I'm sure you guys recognize every perk I have, right? I have Quick Revive, I have Juggernaut, I have um, Slide of Hand, I have Stamina Up, and then the one you might not recognize is um, the purple one. I have Deadshot, obviously. Deadshot's the black one. It has a new icon, but it's still just Deadshot Daiquiri. Um, but the purple one, the purple one is called Elemental Pop. And that basically is just... Um, Every chance you have a, every shot, I'm sorry, every shot you have a small chance. To get an elemental effect on your shot. So this is the strap, by the way, if you're training up here and you get caught. You just circle around and you jump up. And then you go back to zombie slamming. All right, good stuff. Um, so, anyways, like I was talking about with the guns, I pack a punched it once and it doubled my damage, um, and it cost five thousand points to get it to level two. There's three levels to get it to level two. It costs fifteen thousand points and it will double my damage again. To get it to level three, it costs thirty thousand points and it will double my damage again. It'll double from the tier 2 stage, so basically you can multiply your damage by like 16 times. It's pretty nuts. Pretty insane. The doggo coming. Fuck you doggo. I don't need insta-kill because my gun already insta-kills, so... It insta kills if I get a headshot. Obviously, I want headshots, so I'm incentivized to not pick up insta kill. I'm gonna come over here. A little bit scared. Um. <clears throat> I have 35.9k points. So I think what I want to do. <clears throat> Is I want to... Oh, I might need to buy... I need to buy armor again, huh? Just do the... The high round strat, you know what I mean? If 
By the way, this strat is so much better with a ray gun. If I get a ray gun, I'll show you it. But I probably won't do it for long. Oh no, I just used my... Okay, I have to run. I have to run. I just used my ring of fire. And um, the boss spawned, so... That's a yikes for me, dog. Um... Let's open up this door here. Oh no. Um, I want to kill the boss, but... Oh, he's shooting. Alright, here we go. Oh, I have no- I have no ammo. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna go get ammo real quick. And I'm gonna replenish my armor. Replenishing your armor takes 250 low-grade scrap. And then replenishing your ammo, obviously you can just pack a punch again. So I'm gonna run back to the boss. What's up, boss man? Here you go. Just one shot the boss man. Alright, boss dead. Perfect stuff. Um, I could go show you the wonder weapon, which I know a lot of people would like to see. The only issue is that I'm terrified that I'll die doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have this magnum, huh? Oh, dog round. And round 21, which means exfil is open. I'm not going to take it, though. Mm. I'm back up here. Let's see, what are we doing here? Where's the box? I don't know where the box is. Um, oh, it's over there. It's by the plane. All right. <clears throat> hmm. By the way, that down there is for the wonder weapon. I know. You, I know you saw it. I know you did. All right. Come on. Spawn up. All right, sure, why not? I don't think Carpenter does anything for me here, but. I'll take time to reload, even though it doesn't take it out of my, out of my ammo. have enough points to upgrade it again so I think I will and I'll actually go down there I'll buy a monkey bomb too just in case I think I'll throw one while I'm upgrading the quality of my gun so I think with the amount of scrap that I have I can get my gun to epic quality not quite legendary but I think I can get it to epic we have a max rank upgraded gun throw a monkey bomb Kill the dog, because dogs don't care about monkey bombs. Nice. So my damage just spiked. 30.4k damage. I think I was doing 6k before. And now I'm doing 30k. And then Ring of Fire, by the way, whenever I use that, it increases your damage by a lot, so... 138k. <laughs> yeah. I guess it multiplies your damage by 10, huh? Yeah, 138k damage. Jesus. 
And then I can make my damage even higher. But only to bosses. I can only make it higher to bosses. What is that? A nuke? I don't care about nukes. Oh, uh, this is a bad... This, why did I run up here? I don't have a ring of fire up. This is a bad idea. I guess if my gun wasn't so OP, I wouldn't... I would have died there, but... Thankfully, I have a pretty OP gun. Oh, a monkey bomb. Yeah, so they can drop things like that, too. Hey, baby. The oppa. You want to show him to the camera? The oppa boy. Oh, my, uh, my hotkeys don't work for switching scenes, but here you go. He's a He just woke up. Hey. Hey. He didn't want to get up. Hey, baby boy. He was so you tired though, baby? <laughs> hey, Appa. Appa. Oh, Appa, why are you looking at mom? Hi. Mm. So cute. <laughs> oh, <okay. clears throat> Alright. Back to it, boys. Let's see, what? Is there a mechanic I forgot to tell you about? I feel like there is. But I can't remember it. Look at that, dude. 152k damage right there. Oh, hey, boss. I don't even need Ring of Fire to deal with the boss right now. I'm doing so much damage. Oh god, maybe I do. Oh god. My armor broke. That was what that noise was, by the way. Is my armor breaking? If a dog hits you or the boss hits you, it does so much more damage to your armor than normal. Did I kill the boss? I think I did. Okay, so I need... I need to go replenish my armor. I think I can do quickly going this way. I can take this little zoomer thing, I don't know what it's called. <clears throat> take this little portal, get teleported down, and then run to replenish my armor. And then I can take this portal. And every time you take a portal it costs 500 points by the way, but point I don't I don't need points anymore. I already have enough. And then I can run straight. Oh god. That little pillar there scared me a little bit. Alright. And boom. Oof, okay. Got a little scary there. A little bit scary. I have 440 high grade scrap. In order to get... In order to get this to legendary quality, I need 1,000 high grade scrap. Which is just ridiculous, by the way. Um... But I think I'm going to play it on the safe side here, and I'm going to go down here... And I'm going to use 250 high-grade scrap to buy a chopper gunner. 
And the reason that you can buy the chopper gunner for 250 scrap, it's a, it's a kill streak, right? So you buy it with high grade scrap, like I explained in the beginning of the video. But the reason that I'm doing that is because it's extremely safe. It's so safe compared to um, any other kill streak. Because it actually takes you out of the map and makes you untargetable. So if you're about to die and you just press three and take out your chopper gunner, there you go. You're alive. You're 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 flourishing. If you're scared you might go down. You know. Obviously, when I get in like a like a cornered situation like that, where I need to reload and stuff, I stop kind of caring about the headshots and I just kind of go for what I can. I actually don't mind training in this area either. In this way, jump up. Boom! 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 All right, not bad. Max ammo, I'll take it. And <clears throat> if you're thinking, wow, Sam, you're using your ammo a lot. Like, are you not scared of running out and dying? Because there's ammo crates all over the map. You can just buy ammo for your gun. 5,000 points to fully buy ammo for your gun. It's, uh, it's really convenient and it's really nice. Exfil option over, by the way. That was round 26. Bring the fire. The higher round you get to, the faster rounds become. Obviously, because they spawn quicker and come at you faster. Grab that nuke. Might as well pick up the armor. Dude, I'm, this is like the most drops of armor I've ever gotten in a game. Also, there are heavy zombies in this game, which don't really do anything. They're just more heavily armored zombies, but if you shoot them, they die pretty much just as quick. I mean, unless you're using a bullet weapon that's not upgraded. Okay. So right there. I was a little bit scared I was going to die, um, so I just pressed 3, got in my chopper gunner, and here we are. Untargetable, you can't hit yourself either, in case you're wondering about accidentally killing yourself. Um, you just hop in the chopper gunner, and there you go. Now it does use up the, the kill streak, so I have to go spend another 250 points to buy it again, if I want it. Which I probably will, but I do want to get this gun to legendary at some point, you know. I have 600. Yes, yeah, well, about 600 headshots. Which is good. I think I need, like I said, I think I need a thousand more or something. I'm going to throw a monkey here. I don't want to run down, so... And then instead of letting my monkey kill, I'm going to just headshot them. Oh my god, dog. Oh, a self-revive kit. Alright, so unfortunately that's going to disappear, but that is what a self-revive kit looks like on the, on the floor. It's very rare to get a drop of. I've only ever seen three, and I am already prestiged in zombies, so... <laughs> it's very rare to get dropped. But it is very nice when it happens. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what you got for me.
All right. Um, I have 60k points. I could go try to get the hit the box and get the ray gun. Maybe I'll say I'll try to save a zombie this round and hit the box a bunch. But I also am coming up close to an hour mark, and I only want to make this video an hour long. Just for those people that kind of just want to hang out with me, you know? And I, I also think that Smite might be up in an hour. I'm hoping it is, because if it's not up and I end my run for no reason, I'm going to be pissed. <clears throat> All right. Just grabbing some headshots. Also, the double points helps. Oh, hi, boss. How convenient. Are you gonna are you gonna split? Alright, I do not want to stay up there if I am gonna hit the box. Um That's the last zombie, alright? <clears throat> so let's hit the box and see if we can get the ray gun. SMG. Legendary SMG. I like the way that sounds actually. Oh, there's two. The heavy zombie. This one's kind of damaged, right? Ooh, the stoner, dude. Oh, God, no. I got a brain rod zombie, and I killed my boy. Oh, you saw the ray gun there. Oh, the FAMAS. Oh, okay. I have 770 high, high grade scrap, so. I'm close to being able to get my uh, my shotgun to legendary, which is a huge power spike, by the way. I think literally double, or if not double, very close to double. Two hundred and fifty kills, or two thousand five hundred kills when it's back a punched. That's very good. Also, um, something to note. People sometimes think that zombie health keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher. So, like, eventually you just lose, right? That's not quite the case. Um, zombies actually, and has always been, health capped at round 45. Here we go. Nice. Um. So, where's the box? Oh, box is right down here. And it's original. Um, what is it? Kino der Untoten, or knocked der Untoten? That's what it is. Sigma. What well, rhymes with ligma? Window closed. That was my exfil window. Ooh, this is the gun that a lot of people think is the best gun in the game. Or not the best gun in the game. It's the best bullet weapon in the game. The best gun in the game is definitely the ray gun. No question. Ooh, the knife. And yes, you can just have a knife. And actually, you can pack a punch the knife and do insane amounts of damage. <clears throat> I want to do the, uh, the challenge... To get every gun out of the box. The Dark Ops challenge to do it. It would be very nice to get done. Considering it's one of the only ones I don't have left. Or it's one of the only ones I don't have done, I mean. 
Also, you might notice the guns are sitting on the floor there. And that's because if you don't want a gun, a teammate can actually come and pick these up. Obviously, I'm playing solo, so like, I could pick up an ally. If I'm like, you know what, maybe I do want this gun, I can just pick it up. Oh, that's a kill streak actually. And you just saw that you can get a kill streak out of the box. A thumper, huh? <laughs> Everybody knows the thumper, bro. Ooh, that's one of the wonder weapons. This is one of the wonder weapons. I don't like this one, uh, but I'll show you what it does. I just want to make sure this isn't a ray gun. Yeah, it's not. Okay, and I've already picked it up too, so I'll show you what it does. Basically, you shoot. It's this big ball that does like, I think, 15,000 damage. And then you can suck. I'll show you. You can suck and it does a percent of their health. And it gives you ammo back if you get a kill with it. So it's an infinite ammo wonder weapon. Which means it's also infinite damage. Because it does percentage damage. And it also gives you back ammo while doing percentage damage. So it's infinite damage and infinite ammo. Which makes it very good. But... Um... I just don't think the damage is high enough, you know? Alright, let's see where this box goes. I'll bet you money it's right here. Bet you money. Show up. <gasps> oh my god. Someone owes me money. So, I'm literally just, um, I'm trying to do my Dark Ops challenge. Ooh, an AK. I really like the AK. I think AK is one of the best guns. Not upgraded at all, does 416. The worst thing about this challenge is that you get so many repeat weapons, it costs like 700,000 points. Oops. What is that? Compact and lightweight. ASP. So what guns do I still need, huh? Annoying. I know you guys are probably not having a lot of fun watching this, but you know, it's what you signed up for. Grab these. I do want the um, the chopper gunner uh, kill streak. I'll show you what the war machine one is too. By the way, it's really cool. <laughs> it is really cool. Where's the box? By the way, I wasn't paying attention. I have to go upstairs. <clears throat> it's. Oh, I know where that. Okay, I know where that is. What's up, Zamboy? So there's a box location under there, by the way. Under where? <laughs> and then there's one in this corner, which is where it is. That's not where it is. I lied to you. I'm ashamed of myself. <clears throat> it's over here. Right there. I don't know. I don't think you need, um. Ooh. Very cool. I don't think you need the rarity of the gun to matter when you're going for this Dark Ops challenge. But I'm not sure. And I also don't think the ray gun counts. Because the ray gun, by the way, the ray gun is a 0.2% chance. Ooh, chopper gunner. Hell yeah. It's got a free chopper gunner. I'll take it. Um. Ooh. Double magnum, huh? Got 
done the XM4 so many times. Let's see what we get, what we get, what we get. Uh, did I get this gun before? The Milano? Oh. I don't know. Ooh, the M60. That's a new one. Dude, I want to get the Dark Ops Challenge so bad. Darn it. Oh, where's the box? I have 910 points. Um... So the box, I'm going to go ahead and guess, is spawning in the spawn room. It's right here. Fuck, where did it spawn? Oh, I think it spawned downstairs. Okay. You know, the, the first room that I thought that the box spawned, and it spawned there. Yeah, so we take this portal, brings us out right next to that room. Yada yada boom. And we keep trading out our weapon. Uh, the QBZ. I think I did get this one before. I did get the AK 74U. Am I only missing ray gun? Yeah, got the Milano. Oh, I did not get the Krieg 6 yet. Oh. That feels nice to fire. Damn it. Getting kind of unlucky with these box hits, huh? <clears throat> What's up, Zamboy? Um... Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Right here? Cucked. Spawn room. Damn it. <laughs> of course. Let me just make sure it's spawning. Yeah, it's spawning. Of course. By the way, I, I could probably buy most of these guns off the wall around the map, but... The achievement isn't to just hold every gun, it's to get every gun out of the box. MP5. This is a lot of people's favorite gun. I don't think it's a very strong gun, but it's just their favorite to use because it's so mobile. Big six. <clears throat> QBZ, already got it. What gun am I missing? Is it really only the ray gun right now? I got the AK-47. Oh, he died. I got the XM4. I got the Diamati. Okay. Let's go speed run this round and try to keep one zombie alive. Running up here, by the way, after the, the round started um, with no ring of fire is potentially one of the most, the biggest death traps you can do for yourself. As seen there. Um, I'm a little scared. Okay, I almost went down. I had 6 HP, and I, I actually was able to call in my chopper gunner. That was close. Did I just end the round? I don't want to end the round. Oh, fuck, I ended the round. Gonna go buy some ammo. 
I can actually get this gun to legendary quality right now. Which I think I will do. Legendary quality shotgun, baby. Boom! Oh god. Um, I don't have Ring of Fire and I don't really want to get put in the same situation again. So what I'm going to do... Look at the box, which is over there. I'm going to try to save a zombie. By training it this time, so I know. Level 35 prestiged. Nice, nice. The dogs are the worst, by the way. If you get hit by a dog, it drains your armor by a lot more than a normal zombie hit. And it slows you down. Um, <clears throat> which gets you killed a lot of the time. I was on round 58 in one of my runs. And I got hit by a dog. And then killed by super sprinters. Because on round 50, these things called super sprinters spawn. And they run faster than Usain Bolt ever wish he could. So if you get comboed like, like that, there's literally nothing you can do about it. With the super sprinters, that is. If 200 high grade, they can almost get another chopper gunner. Kill the dog. Alright, so these are the last few zombies. Oh, ow. Nice. And let's go and get more box hits. Should be right there? Oh no, it's it's down. Okay. Isn't that one spot we were at before? Oop. We're one hour in, I know, I know. I just want to see if I can do this Dark Ops challenge. In close uh, there's two of them, right? Oh, Wonder Weapon again. Yeah, there's two. I can kill one. Normal Magnum. I think all of these guns I've gotten before, man. I don't know what gun I'm missing for this Dark Ops challenge. Unless they coded it in to where you do need the ray gun, maybe? And by the way, I would know if I got it. Uh, a little message would pop up on screen saying you completed a Dark Ops challenge. So I would know for sure if I if I unlocked it, because I'm waiting for the message. I think that's the Diomati, right? Diomati. <clears throat> All right. Now I could go add an alternate ammo type, by the way, to this gun to make it a little bit stronger. Um, because if you add the dead wire alternate ammo type to your, to your weapon, it actually doubles the damage you do to bosses. So I could be killing bosses in one shot for the rest of the game if I added dead wire to this thing, but, <clears throat> but I don't like dead wire for the simple fact that it takes away a lot of, um, What is that? A it takes away a lot of zombie kills from your actual weapon itself. I will not say no. RPD. I think the only thing I'm missing is ray gun. I 
Did I get a Pellington before? I mean, I have a Peloton. No, I don't. <laughs> it's just... Peloton's for... Ooh. Um... My parents have a Peloton, though. They don't like it. Dual M1911s. I wonder if... I have to get every weapon dual wielded as well. Alright. That would have been a war machine anyways, so I don't really care. Too much. So I think the zombie dies after five minutes. Where are you spawning? I had a feeling. Ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night. Oh, actually, I haven't gotten the Hauer out of the box yet, I don't think. The shotgun I'm using, but it's the unupgraded version. Or the RPG. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Launchers? Dude, I gotta be close. I gotta be so close to finishing this challenge. Damn. Mm, where do you think it goes? I think it goes under map. I think it goes right here. The little corner. I think it goes right here, right here, right here. Game sucks. All right. Can I blow his legs off? I don't think so. Oh well. Um, that's a war machine. I'll, I'll pick it up. Fuck it. I don't have anything there, anyways. Please hit the box. Please hit the box. Please hit the box. There we go. Stoner. Oh, that goes... There goes my armor. Dude, imagine if I get down by this zombie. How embarrassing. It right, definitely goes downstairs now. Let's go uh, replenish our armor. It's definitely down here. It hasn't been down here yet. 100% of the time it's right here. 100%. What the? Sounds like it's over here. Not. I guess we check that one spot and then we go upstairs. Not here either. Um. Is it back over here? Oh no. Okay. It's in the little corner. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we had the Sigma. I remember my Ligma joke. I thought maybe we didn't have it before, but... Unfortunately, I do remember my Ligma. I think it. I think they might have coded it into where you need the ray gun. Oh, nice. Um, Which sucks, because, like I said, it's a 0.2% chance. Because I've spent... Probably about a hundred thousand points in the box already. 
Damn, you're so fast with the knife out. Holy shit. AK-74, you? Yep. Already got it. A Hauer. I literally am holding one right here. MP5, already gotten it. Ooh, M82. I haven't gotten this one yet. We gotta, dude, we gotta be so close. <gasps> oh, oh, I got it. I got it, dude, box addict. We're done. We're done. Hell yeah. Now let's see if I can do the impossible and get to round 36 and then extract Let's just show you guys what the extraction looks like. Hell yeah, dude. That's hype as fuck. Now the only challenge I have left, the only Dark Ops challenge I have left is, um... Oh, hi. Hi, boss zombie to very untimely spawned and didn't make a noise. We'll throw this over there. Little fucking boss zombie. Another boss zombie just spawned, really? Sorry, right, I have my, uh... I have my X ability for this one. Yeah, just... Just absolutely one-shotting him. So much damage, dude. So much damage. Alright, good stuff. We killed two boss zombies this round. Go we'll back up. Uh, I do need to go buy more monkey bombs, actually. Boss zombie? I don't know where he is. I'm just gonna buy monkey bombs. He'll come to me. Um. All right. Nice. Eight hundred headshots too. That is not bad, dude. That is not bad. I don't know if you guys can hear the song, but I could. <laughs> I missed. All right. Nice. Now we exfil. And exfil should be relatively easy, I I think with two monkey bombs. So basically, you start the exfil, and it's not that easy. You have to run over to this area, and you have to kill every single enemy in this area as fast as possible. And um, it's it's definitely difficult. It's very difficult, actually. Hmm. 
But with two monkey bombs, I'm hoping that it's not that hard, hard to do. Dude, throwing those nades just killed everything. Oh my. Alright, nice. With two monkey bombs and a ring of fire. Easy game, dude. And then we board the helicopter. And that is a successful round 36 exfil. And bonus XP and bonus Ethereum crystals. Ethereum crystals are basically used to upgrade your gear. Um... But, I, I mean, I... I already have done it. Because I got to round 101 for a Dark Ops mission. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show you my Dark Ops missions that I've done. I think the only one I have left is to survive to round 20 without getting hit a single time. Get to round 20 without getting hit once. That's incredibly difficult. But I think that's the only one. I got 100k XP that round, that match. Um, I wish I knew how much bonus XP I got for extracting. But So basically, you can like weapon classes, you can level them up. You see Ethereum crystals here? I have everything maxed out, so I don't need any more. Um, and they all do extra things, right? So you have that. But let's see. Challenges, zombies, dark ops. Um, Box addict right there. So these two are dark, are um, Dead Ops Arcade, which I'm never going to do because that mode fucking sucks dick. Um, so these two are Dead Ops Arcade. I don't count these two to be even remotely viable. Uh, this one is 1 million zombie kills, which I'll get soon enough, you know? <laughs> there's, there's no time limit on this. I'll get this soon enough. I don't really have to work for it. That'll just happen. Uh, but this one is to survive 20 rounds without getting hit, which is really tough. This one has a two fully packed weapons with ammo mods and six perks active. This one is use only melee attacks. And I'm saying only, like you can't throw equipment, you can't throw monkey bombs, you can't use um, chopper gunners, anything. This one was hard to do. Uh, Retron 100, obviously that was pretty easy. Retron 20 with only your starting loadout, no upgrades, that means no pack-a-punched weapons at all no armor no perks just just doing trains and getting to round 20 that one was pretty that one was pretty easy though 50 enemies with single support super easy box attic i just did main quest which is just the um just the the main easter egg i already did that reach 30 without going down easy i just did that now well i mean i did that a long time ago but like it's super easy and play every single trial in a single game. And the trial is something I didn't show you in that game. Um, but basically, they're just little missions where it's like get kills in this area, survive in this area, um, get knife kills, get equipment kills, you know, stuff like that. I did every single one of those in a game too. So all of my all of my Dark Ops missions are done except for getting to around 20 without getting hit and a million zombie kills. And like I said, these two, these two uh, Dead Ops arcades quests they don't they don't count they did they, they're irrelevant but i hope you guys enjoyed this a little something different um i had a lot of fun playing it for you guys and i hope that you guys had fun watching it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace